Get ready for the splash. Live, Greater West Bloomfield's dedicated update show. Events, businesses, and people. Anything and anyone causing a ripple in the community. And now, let's dive in to the splash. Live. Good morning and welcome to the Splash Live. Good to be with you, Dave Scott here in our Splash Live studios. Thank you very much for joining us on the program today. Big nod to Calvin Brown, who is at Master Control. I don't have Jared today. How are we gonna make it through the show? Calvin does a great job hitting all the buttons and spinning the dials and making it all happen. Thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in. Of course, this show is part of 90 Minutes, local and live television each and every day right here on Civic Center TV. Starts out with a Splash Live at 9.30 each and every Monday through Friday. I'm here until 10. Tyler Keefe is working really hard to get ready for his hour from 10 till 11. It is 90 minutes of live local television, very local in the next half hour. Tyler will take a slightly wider view of our area, but always thinking West Bloomfield, Kego, Sylvan, and Orchard Lake. Easy to watch our programs on a number of outlets. You can watch on cable on Comcast Channel 15 if you're in the greater West Bloomfield area. AT&T subscriber, that's okay. We're there too. Go to Channel 99. You'll find all the community channels in a menu system. All you need to do is select West Bloomfield, Kegel Harbor, Orchard Lake, and Sylvan Lake, and you'll see our programming. Lots of people, more every day. In fact, over 50,000 people every year. Check out civiccentertv.com. If you're not one of them, you should be. Our video is there in high definition. We've got our brand new beautiful program schedule and all of our archives from the past, what, 10, 15 years are all there as well for you to watch. civiccentertv.com. Great place to go and go back and watch West Bloomfield High School commencement from last week at a Pine Knob. You can also watch us live each and every day on Facebook and over on YouTube. We've got social media covered, Facebook and YouTube today. And all you need to do is look for Civic Center TV. And then, good to have you with us on the radio. We have our own radio station here at Civic Center TV and in West Bloomfield. Thanks to our partnership with West Bloomfield Schools, 89.3 Lakes FM. On your FM dial, you can hear that all around the area. And if you get busy and you're heading out, all you got to do is turn your radio on and you will hear us. This show repeats also frequently throughout the day. So uh, what crazy weather we had yesterday in our area. More on that in a minute. But let's take a look at our forecast. We're actually off to the nicest day we've had in a long time with sunshine. A beautiful blue sky and sunshine to kick off our day today. You can see from our weather graphic, we're going to have a few clouds making their way in. Temperatures couldn't be better. Better. Today, tomorrow, and Friday, temperatures in the 70s. Great quote-unquote sleeping weather, as we call it, with our lows down in the 50s and uh, maybe a little bit of rain tomorrow. We're going to see it pop in and out of our area. Um, but all in all, today, tomorrow, Friday, pretty nice weather. Temperatures in the 70s, and today will definitely be the gem. Now, talking about some really weird, strange weather, uh, after going all those days, day after day after day after day with just the same nice sunshine, 85, 90 degrees, wasn't that great, by the way? Um, then the weather really got weird. We got some rain over the weekend, and yesterday was one of the weirdest weather days I can remember right here in West Bloomfield as we had pockets of bad weather. Now, here's a shot from our good friend Jeff Lesson over at WWJ that you can find on Facebook. That's West Bloomfield. Jeff lives in our community. Good to have you here, Jeff. And uh, that is hail falling yesterday on Jeff's back porch here in West Bloomfield. So it was a pretty crazy day. I, I was busy yesterday in all of our communities, Kego, Sylvan, West Bloomfield, driving around quite a bit, especially at the end of the day. And, and you would go from like big rainstorm to uh, perfectly sunny skies. And what all that results in is some of the most beautiful rainbows I've seen in the area. I bet a lot of you had an opportunity to get some really nice rainbow pictures yesterday. All in all, a uh, slightly complicated, but a pretty good day weather-wise. And again, the next couple of days are going to be fantastic. So it's a huge day for us here at Civic Center TV and for our community. It's the 14th annual Greater West Bloomfield Health and Wellness Fair is going on today at the West Bloomfield Township Hall. Couldn't be more excited about it as soon as this show is over. In fact, that's why I'm dressed up here. As soon as this show is over, I'm heading over to Town Hall. And we'll be there broadcasting live from noon to 1 o'clock. Suzanne Levine from the Chamber puts on a great event uh, every year. We've done this 13 times. Number 14 is going to be the best ever. Um, I understand there are more exhibitors, over 40 
exhibitors that are there. We're going to talk to as many of them as we can during the noon hour right here on Civic Center TV. But I encourage you to take an opportunity and head over to the West Bloomfield Township Hall if you get a chance today. It's going to be a great event. You'll learn all about health and wellness issues right here in our community. And, uh, and I'd look forward to meeting you. So come on by, say hello. Begins at 11, goes on until early afternoon. We'll be broadcasting live today from noon until 1 o'clock. And a big nod to our crew. Thank you very much. Busy day with, with our live programming here and then the live programming over from West Winfield Township Hall today. So a very busy day. Now, unfortunately, our community was uh, the subject of headlines on all other major media outlets uh, over the last couple of days. What's going on? What was a big story? We'll, we'll bring it to you in more detail, but it revolved um, a threat at the West Bloomfield Middle School. I might as well do this rather than just leave that as an open-ended tease. West Bloomfield Middle School canceled classes early yesterday morning after a threat was called into the building about somebody with a bomb. And this was the second day in a row that this had happened at the middle school. No bomb, no problem. We've got all the details. We'll talk about what's going on, what the police are working on, what the school district is working on, and give you all the rest of the nitty gritty. But we're gonna take a quick break. I'll get a sip of coffee and we'll be right back. Good morning, you are watching The Splash Live. I'm Dave Scott and we'll be right back. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. Looking for a midweek meal? Keep the bag lunch at home this summer and enjoy street food in your neighborhood with Food Truck Tuesdays. Enjoy cuisine from around Michigan outside the WB Parks and Recreation Activity Center with a different vendor every Tuesday, like the Potato Bar on June 27th. All summer, every Tuesday, Food Truck Tuesday. This community update from Civic Center TV and 89.3 Lakes FM. Watch Civic Center TV with our brand new live captions. To turn on live captions, go to civiccentertv.com and click Watch Live. In your web browser, click on the Options tab in the top right and find the Accessibilities tab. Then just switch on live captions to heighten your enjoyment of our local programming. Thank you so much for watching Civic Center TV. And now, back to The Splash Live. Good morning and welcome back to The Splash Live. Dave Scott here at our Civic Center Studios. As I said before the break, West Bloomfield Middle School canceled classes early yesterday morning after a threat was called into the building about the possibility of a bomb being in the building. Now, this was the second day in a row that a threat like that had been called in. The incident yesterday happened before 8 o'clock, according to authorities here in West Bloomfield and other news organizations in the area. According to district officials, the school received a call from a spoofed phone number uh, stating there was a bomb threat and a student with a weapon at the school. So not just a bomb threat, but you know, a, a student with a weapon at the school. And you can imagine how that catches everybody's attention. West Bloomfield police arrived at the middle school in, I mean, very quickly in conjunction with on-site staff, searched the entire building for the alleged threat and they didn't find anything. They said the district in an email uh, that went out to the parents said, once the building was secured, West Bloomfield Police Department and district administrators determined that this was not a credible threat. So um, obviously, I think if this happened when I went to high school in 1977, we would instantly say prank. Um, it probably wouldn't have been reported on the news, um, but unfortunately we're living at a different time. And um, we live in a time when we're very obviously concerned about the safety of our students at our schools and for good reason. So. Um, Police are doing everything they can. They have to take this seriously, even if this is just some kid trying to get school canceled for the day. We don't know that yet, but they are doing it. So police have a real challenge in investigating a phone prank like this. It's not easy. I can assure you that the West Bloomfield Police Department are working with all the other authorities, whether it be state, federal, whatever, whoever they need to get a hold of to trace down that number and find out who's been doing this. 
And, you know, if you know who's doing this in the community, I would tell them to pick up the phone and call the police right now. They will figure out who is doing this. It takes some time. And uh, the police tell me that they have been successful in the past in finding the culprits to this kind of a thing. It's a huge inconvenience for everybody. It's not a nice thing to do, and it's a downright dangerous thing to do, especially in this environment, because the police are going to have to respond accordingly. And, and, and you know what that all means. So this is a difficult situation. The school district uh, from the superintendent issued a letter to parents came directly from the desk of our superintendent of schools, Dr. Donia Bazzi. And uh, she says, parents, we urge you to speak with your children about the seriousness of making a threat to a school or even just fueling rumors on social media that have not been verified. Students found guilty will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Please know that the safety and the security of our students and staff is our first priority. We'd like to thank the staff and the first responders for their immediate response and for their ongoing support. The eighth grade promotion ceremony that was scheduled to be held this evening has been rescheduled. We hope you're able to attend Thursday, June 15th, 6 p.m. to celebrate the graduating eight, eighth graders at the school. And, you know, this, it just, it's, it's a, this is a bummer. I mean, let's just be honest. School is wrapping up. We just had the West Bloomfield High School com commencement. Uh, we're very close to school closing. Spring is in the air. And, and to have to deal with this at any time is awful in and of itself, especially when we have the Oxfords of the world. You have to take this stuff very, very seriously. And, and because of all that, at this time, it's a handful for the district. It's a handful for the police. This is not a joke. And, and I, I believe that um, our authorities will get a hold of, of who is involved in this and, and put a stop to it, okay? Um, I, I, I just feel very bad for everyone associated with the school district. And, you know, I kind of feel bad for our community, too, because um, we work so hard to let everybody know what a wonderful place this community is, and it is. And then you get a little blemish like this. Uh, certainly, one person is not going to spoil our day. It's been a great school year, especially at that building, a beautiful brand-new building, an enormous success. So we're going to keep dwelling on that today and, uh, and move on. But it's important that you know what's going on, and we're going to share that information with you um, when we get our hands on it. Moving along, the president of our greatest hospital here in West Bloomfield, president of Henry Ford Hospital, West Bloomfield, Shana Johnson was busy this week. She spoke uh, to our neighbors over at the Greater Farmington Chamber of Commerce recently. She was at a golf outing they were sponsoring and brought them up to date on what's going on at our hospital. And again, that just brings to mind that we are going to be doing an awful lot of that today at the West Bloomfield Township Hall with our big health expo that we talked about earlier in the show. We'll be broadcasting live there today from noon until 1. It's going on, so stop over. A lot of great health information and, and certainly the leaders of the health community right here in West Bloomfield. Our own Suzanne Levine, very busy out in the community. Uh, she is the director of our Chamber of Commerce, putting on today's event, but uh, also very busy with a lot of other activities. Here's a picture of her at uh, the Vibe Credit Union with the people there. They have a program the Chamber does called Cup of Connections, where once a month we'll get together with an area of business and uh, get to know people. Uh, the business gets to know the Chamber. The Chamber gets to know the business. It's a really nice connection. Some friendships are established and some business connections are. That's what was going on here at Vibe. Looks like <laughs> it looks like they're, they're all drinking coffee and having a lot of fun. So uh, kudos to the people at Vibe a Credit Union and our West Bloomfield Chamber. So a really amazing story we reported on yesterday, in case you missed the show, uh, what an amazing story. There is this memorial. So see that picture right there on your screen. That is, a, is a, an overgrown memorial that was built back in 1972 by what was then the Walnut Lake Women's Club. Now that club, as far as we know, really isn't in existence anymore. And, and that memorial that was built as a peace memorial during the Vietnam War back in 1972 uh, was hidden behind shrubbery. It was at the old location of the Walnut Lake Elementary School, which is closed down. 
That site is on Walnut Lake Road. You probably know it right across the street from the Ace Hardware. And that, that memorial is on that site. And two great local residents, West Bloomfield's Burt Green, Steve Kay, decided, hey, we can't have this memorial all overgrown. So this is what they did. There is the new and improved and updated um, and cleaned up memorial. Flag was raised and the whole thing is absolutely terrific. Congratulations to those guys for getting involved and making a difference. And we're going to follow that story. So that site is going to be the new home of the Chaldean Community Center. And uh, we'll talk to the, the folks from the Chaldean Community Center and uh, check in and see what their plans are, whether this can become part of that property and they can build it into their plans, or if not, what we can do to make sure that this uh, memorial lives on here in West Bloomfield. Great job again, Bert and Steve, and uh, we will continue to keep an eye on that story. We're going to take a break in a minute. When we come back, we'll take a look at real estate numbers. If you are thinking about selling or buying a home in West Bloomfield, we've got the latest information for you as we get close to the summer sales season for real estate. That and more coming up in just a minute. Good morning. I'm Dave Scott, and you are watching The Splash Live. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. Like what you see? Beautiful works of art, masterworks of metal, and accomplishments of artistry will be on display near you. All kinds of artists from all walks of life come together to celebrate their skill and appreciate their work's beauty. Hot Works presents the 2023 Orchard Lake Fine Art Show. Stop by July 29th and 30th between 2 and 10 p.m. between Powers and Daily off of Orchard Lake Road. One in four Michigan homes has high levels of radon, a naturally occurring radioactive gas known to cause lung cancer. It doesn't matter where you live or what type of home you have. You won't even know it's there unless you test. So don't wait. Testing is cheap and easy. And if there's a problem, it's simple to fix. Visit michigan.gov slash radon to learn more. We took action, will you? And now, back to The Splash, live. Morning, welcome back to The Splash Live. Dave Scott joining you this morning on Civic Center TV. Tyler Keep will be in after 10 o'clock today with more. We invite you to stay tuned for 90 minutes of live and local programming. Our commitment each and every day right here on your local television station and radio station as well. We thank you very much for tuning in, being part of the program, and being such a vital part of our community. So, real estate is big news here in West Bloomfield. Always is. We are primarily, I think anyone would say, more of a bedroom community than a community with a big, busy, bustling downtown. So, um, during the summertime, as people tend to move more because kids are out of school, it's always a good time to take a look at what's going on with the viability of our real estate market. And the folks at Soaring Eagle Realty in West Bloomfield were kind enough to put up this in month's numbers, the most recent numbers in a market report for West Bloomfield. And as you take a look at that report, it might be a little bit difficult to see on your screen, but here are the big metrics for the real estate agents and the real estate community. and and it's very helpful for you, too. Um, you know, it's good to know whether we have a buyer's or a seller's market going on and whether transactions are happening. So average time on the market of a home in West Bloomfield, right there on your screen, 29 days. In looking at these numbers, that's about what it's been. Um, but, you know, that's the average time. So just think about those homes that aren't really moving very quickly. And then just think about the new listings, which <laughs> if you're looking for a home, I know you know that when you see a listing that you like, you better act on it pretty quickly because it probably isn't going to be around too long. 29 days. Average price for a home in West Bloomfield, according to the market report, from recent transactions, recent transactions, 452000 $443. And a good look at that number clearly shows what a viable, 
of community we have. 1,254 new listings over the past month and 852 homes sold over the past month. Those numbers are down slightly, but given what's going on with interest rates and given what's going on with the economy in general, um, a very, I think, a very bullish look at what's going on with real estate in our community. We'll keep you up to date. And uh, after this very busy week, hopefully I have an opportunity to get some of our friends who are in the real estate business to chat with us about it and give us some more uh, ex give us some of their expertise about what's going on with home transactions as we go into the summer season. So I was in uh, Kego Harbor in Sylvan Lake yesterday, as I often am, and everywhere I drove, I saw these signs for the block party. It looks exactly like our block party logo. There you go. There are, there are road signs, yard signs, if you will, all over, talking about the big Kego yard or block party and uh, that's going to be kicking off this Friday. So this Friday, 5.30, the kickoff to the 2023 Kego Block Party Series at Rose Sorter Park right behind City Hall. A lot of fun. All you got to do is bring your lawn chair or blanket. Enjoy the live music that will be going in this week from Taylor Tucky. I love that. I, what do you think? Uh, I think that's probably going to be country music. Taylor Tucky, grab a snack or a dinner at the Fry Grill food truck and be sure to check out Art Sales Fantastic Merchandise. So a lot going on. It's fun. Just a great opportunity for us to get together in Kego. I mean, we don't even need a reason. Let's just get together, listen to music, and, and have a lot of fun. All sponsored by the fine people at Jet's Pizza of Kego Harbor. And to the people in Kego, thank you very, very much for your support. Now, before I go on to our next story, Calvin, just one other thing I want to mention quickly. The, the reason I was in Kego yesterday is we're working very hard with both Kego Harbor in Sylvan Lake to do a big upgrade on our ability to cover their meetings and their municipal meetings. So um, we, we expect to get a positive vote in Kego for that this Thursday night at their meeting and, uh, and already are moving forward in Sylvan Lake, putting in very new, fast internet that's gonna let us um, send new, better pictures and images and a more reliable signal from both Sylvan Lake and Kego Harbor from your municipal meetings. We appreciate the help that uh, everybody in those communities has put forth. And it's really nice to go to Kegel Harbor and Sylvan Lake and work with uh, those communities, smaller than West Bloomfield, of course, in our coverage area. But the level of enthusiasm and excitement about making sure that you, our viewers, have an opportunity to watch the local municipal meetings and take advantage of the other coverage is something that always inspires me. So if you go to Facebook today, you're going to see the West Bloomfield Police Department is making sure that you know that there is a new bill coming from the state of Michigan. It's already been signed into law. And uh, this is a new law about driving with your cell phone in your hand. And you really got to be careful. Let me give you just a little bit of the background from, uh, from the state's website. In early May, the Michigan House and Senate passed uh, a number of House bills that would change the Michigan Vehicle Code and help reduce distracted driving crashes and fatalities. And we all know, I mean, from driving down the road, uh, how disappointing it is when you're driving down the road, you look over at the car next to you, and there is somebody doing one of these, right? They're on their phone and they're not paying attention to driving them. And, you know, maybe we've all done that once or twice, uh, but you know that it catches up to you, and then all of a sudden you go, oh, no, and you slow down real quick or make some jerky reaction. It is bad, it is dangerous, and it is already illegal in Michigan. But that law was instituted years ago when cell phones and their capabilities were much different. The new law now makes all cell phone usage illegal while driving. So uh, the, I can get into all the details of the bill, but we, we really don't have time. But see what's happening on your screen right now? Just don't do it, okay? And the one thing that we all really like to have in our car and use on our phone other than making calls is navigation. I get that. So just take the extra minute or two before you pull out of the driveway, before you leave the parking lot, before you hit the road to turn on your cell phone and turn on your navigation. If it doesn't interact with your dash, which so many of the phones do now, um, you've got the audio alerts, you'll hear them. Let your navigation system talk to you. Set the thing down on your, on your seat and leave it alone and it'll be fine. Now in my car, as with many of the modern cars, that phone hooks up to your navigation system and 
it's great. And if you've not, you know, used one of these amazing sites like Waze or one of the other traffic sites, you should because it it will really help with your driving experience, especially navigating around a very busy place like Metro Detroit in the summertime with all those orange barrels. But that doesn't give you, you're not going to get away when the officer pulls you over and says, hey, uh, Mr. Scott, I saw that you were, uh, you know, handling your phone there and that's against the law and I'm going to write you this really expensive ticket. And oh, by the way, as a bonus, your insurance rates are going to go up. So you, <laughs> you don't want that to happen to you. Just set the phone on the seat, use the navigation systems uh, the right way and, and just save your phone calls until later when you get home okay so do be careful new law in place kicks in at the end of june and and here's just my personal experience when these laws kick in um usually um there's some mechanism built in to the laws themselves or funding even if you don't see it for um increased enforcement and you should expect that's going to happen especially on the front side of these new rules so you know you're not supposed to be driving around with your cell phone um, so don't do it. More information is available. If you go to Facebook, you'll find a ton there. I saw some today. And when, on another day, we have more time. We'll bring Kurt Lawson in or some of the other folks or one of the other uh, chiefs from our police departments and talk about the, the results that they see. They're the ones that see the accidents. They're the ones that see the injured local residents that none of us really want to encounter when we run into one of these accidents. So uh, more on that coming up in the coming days. Please be careful and be aware of the new law. So um, we got to run in here in a couple of minutes. I just want to remind you one more time that we've got a very big day here on Civic Center TV, and it's all going to be centered around our West Bloomfield Township Hall and the 14th Annual Health and Wellness Fair, which is going on today at the West Bloomfield Township Hall. Suzanne Levine and the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce put on this event every year. It's a fantastic event. There's going to be a number of organizations there on site with displays like you see right there from Henry Ford and other opportunities. There'll be, there'll be professionals there. They're going to be talking about you know a better uh, way to work in your diet. Um, I'm sure there'll be an opportunity to check your blood pressure and check some of your other vitals. There'll be a massage therapist there that We'll talk about massage and maybe even give you an opportunity to get a little massage sample and relax. It's always a great event. And as we talked about yesterday in the program, I can remind you again, maybe you're a little intimidated about going to a healthcare professional in their office. Well, if that's the case and you want to get some informal advice, um, this is a great way to do it. So come on by. And if nothing else, it's going to be a lot of fun to see you. And uh, maybe we'll get you on Civic Center TV and have a conversation and get a chance to meet. So it's going on today, West Bloomfield Township Hall, and we really look forward to seeing you. Our broadcast begins at 12 noon. And because of that, I gotta get out of here because I gotta get over to the town hall. Have a great day, thank you very much. Great do job, Calvin Brown, making it all happen technically today. You have a fantastic day. We'll see you tomorrow morning, right here on The Splash Live.